that was close. So what we're going to do is just get this down and then we can start working from there back up and connecting it into the bathroom. Someone said in the comments to look like Timmy Mallet with these on. Is Timmy Mallet even still alive? I don't think he is, is he? That blade, that blade, that blade, that blade and that blade. So I've been on this job three weeks doing the other bathroom. Every single day has been dry, sunny. Today I'm doing this soil stack and it's pissing down. Without getting my laser level on it, that is not going to be far off. I'm covered in red brick dust. So if I look like I've done a fake tan, that's why. Nearly. Right, so it's first thing Monday morning, we're back in this bathroom where we're gonna be for a little while. I'm just a little bit conscious, I don't wanna chuck too much bathroom content onto the channel, but this is the project I'm on at the minute, so it's real world plumbing. As we know, that's what it's all about. Can you see my strategically placed you in your hoodie? Big shout out to everyone who has um, said well done on the sponsorship that I revealed in the last video. I made up with it still, um, it's just, it's just great. So if you're interested in any uni lights or whatever, have a look on the website. Links in the description below. Put MJ Tiff in the checkout and you get 25% off. I'm not going to keep ramming it into you, but then again, I might drop a few in. Anyway, what we've got to do today is get this cast iron saw stacked down, which is going to be a bit of a pain. I don't think it's going to be a bit of a pain, actually. Picked up a recip saw, a bower recip called the saw to cut through the bottom of there. So what we're going to do is just get this down and then we can start working from there back up and connecting it into the bathroom. I think the way it's going to run, I think the pan is going to be give or take where that branch is. So we may be able to just take the four inch straight in and then it's just from the basin, bath and we've got to send that one on as well because all that's going. So yeah, busy day for a Monday and this weekend is coming is Jubilee weekend, so Thursday and Friday off, but I think I'm in Thursday morning because we've got to get some boxing done in here, ready for the plaster next week. So let's crack on with it. So this is the stack we've got to take down. Got my little ladders there. I have got longer ladders that I'll get to get up to the top, but for the moment, got these and cut the bottom and we get this section out because that's going to hold itself in. However, what I've done this morning, I've picked up an Erbauer recip saw. Now, I've got a few bits of Erbauer kit. I've got, in fact, I'll show you, I've got, now I've got the recip saw. I've also got a jigsaw, a circular saw, an angle grinder. Got something else as well? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Multi tool. And I've also got a cordless hammer drill. Now stuff like this, we don't use as plumbers, or I don't at least, I don't use them every day. So they haven't got to be full on, you know, Milwaukee sort of heavy duty stuff. But to be honest, I've never had a problem with it. They're great value for money. Off the shelf at Screwfix or next day delivery from Screwfix. And you know what? They are spot on. I've used them, abused them. And for the money, I don't think you'll go wrong with them for something that we don't use every day. So, I'll put them back in a minute. But yeah, as I said, they are spot on, but be interested to see how we got on with this recip saw because what I'm gonna do is cut low level across that cast iron saw pod and get an adapter on the bottom and then work off that in uh, black four inch. So let's get it unpacked and see what it's like. There we are. This one, I've just bought the bare body on this one so I've got batteries. Um, but yeah, it's certainly, and that's what I mean, they are made real tough. They're not cheap, crappy, you know, like DIY spec stuff. They are good stuff. So we'll get a metal blade in there and we'll get that cut off. And also it's a nice, that it's a quick release. Literally pull that lever out the side there and it opens up that to pop. If we can do it one-handed. Pop the blade in. 
Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Not sure what that does. So yeah, let's see how we get on cutting through that. So we always get comments that I don't wear gloves a lot. Got gloves on, and I've also got, here we go, Unilite goggles. I will stop now. Someone said in the comments I look like Timmy Mallet with these on. Is Timmy Mallet even still alive? I don't think he is, is he? I don't know. I don't know. Drop me in the comments. Is Timmy Mallet still alive? I don't know. So there we go, we're finally through the cast iron with that blade and also that blade, that blade, that blade, that blade and that blade. Now I know some of you are going to go, you can get a cast iron cutter thing that will cut that, but that's took what, 20 minutes, 10 quid's worth of blades, but we're through now. So we can get this down and begin seeing how we're going to sort this stack out. Right, so what I'm going to do now, because we've got to get the bottom of this off, I've tried pulling it and it's just solid and I don't want to sort of risk the top of it coming down. So, I'm going to cut a little bit out of this box and slide it underneath or between these two bits so that I can smash it with the hammer because cast iron goes really brittle. Whack it with the hammer, no bits are going to go down the drain and hopefully it will just come apart. Right, so that's covered up. What we can do now is just give it a whack. I've started whacking it here. It goes, it cast goes really brittle, and then that'll catch all the crap that's going down. Like so, we should now oh, be able to pull that out. Come out a little bit easier then. And we'll do the same now, we can just smash that off as we go up. Uh, Quandria. Nearly. Oh. That was close. Well, the stack's down. Look who didn't hit the van. But yeah, stacks down. Luckily, that caught it. We can sweep all this up, get all these uh, shards of cast iron off. Woo! But yeah, got a straight run now. Back up to there. There we go. All sorted, all cleaned up. It's as if it never fell down and nearly knocked me off the ladder. Uh, right, we'll make a list up now of what we need for this and pop to pump base and pick it up. Right, back upstairs. The toilet is going. Here, where my bag is. So the saw pipe is going to be coming along here and out through the wall there into the saw stack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to core a hole fairly low to the floor there so we've got enough fall from the back of the pan. Maybe an inch or so off the floor, but we'll core that through or at least put a pilot through so we can see where we are outside because I think the saw pipe is going to run literally in line with it. So we may have to jig stuff around to keep it completely upright outside, but we'll have a look and see how we get on. So that's the pilot bit put through there. We'll leave it sticking through because we'll go outside and just see exactly where it's come through. Might have, uh, let's have a look. It's thrown a bit of the brick off, but we know that anyway because we're going to be coring it out. So without getting my 
laser level on it. Do you know what? That is not going to be far off at all. Because it's proper bright sunshine, you can't really see. So you can just about make my laser line out there. But what I've done, I've got my level out and marked it here. So we'll take that up and we'll just have a look and see exactly if it's in line. Do you know what? I don't think it's going to be far off at all, which is going to be perfect. So I've been on this job for three weeks doing the other bathroom. Every single day has been dry, sunny, absolutely fine. Today I'm doing this soil stack and it's pissing down. Always the way, always the way. So we're gonna concentrate on this today. I'm gonna to show you what I'm gonna do with this branch because the branch is gonna sit this is the face of the wall, obviously it's going to go through the wall here. But the branch is going to sit roughly to that collar here once the clips are on. So that bit there is going to be sunk in the wall. Now, a lot of the time when you drill it out with a core bit, they're not big enough to sink this part in. So, I've picked up 152mm core bit. It's bigger, but it just means that we can drill the wall out with that and we can sink the branch into exactly where it's going to go. So I'm going to go inside, core it out with that from the inside out and you can just about see that. And if you go through steady enough, it will cut it perfectly. And then when it's out, obviously when it's all in, we'll cement up round it and get it all cleaned up as well because we've got them holes to fill. There's a few bullet holes in this wall anyway. But yeah, sod's law, it's pissing down. I don't think it's going to stop either. So this is my main core drill set. Um, what is it, Pro Series MS5. I think I got this from Screwfix ages ago. Obviously you can see the ones that are used. Um, this one is perfect for just like the normal size saw pipe if you haven't got the collars or anything or if you're not sinking it into the wall. You've got the bigger one, I think it's 127. Yeah, but if you look there, give or take the same width. So even if you use that, you're still gonna to struggle to get the branch actual collar into the wall. So I know it's quite a little bit bigger, but just sending that through and then we can make up around the outside and it just saves a lot of stress of putting that through and it just not working right. So we'll start and get the old cord out through this wall. It's an old building, so I'm guessing it's gonna be quite tough. This is when you get covered in all that red brick dust. Well, let's just say I'm covered in red brick dust. So if I look like I've done a fake tan, that's why. But we're through anyway, even though it's bust the end of my drill bit and uh, I've got it stuck in the drill. But we'll sort that out in a minute. So now this branch can fit into the wall like that and then we can just point up round it it's not a problem at all but yeah it has took a little bit out of there but you know by the time it's pointed up it'll look fine right let's begin getting this stack up i suppose now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start because obviously we cast iron here i'm gonna start with an adapter collar so that's gonna go on there then we're gonna come up in four inch we've got to pick up that inch and a quarter base and waste at some point so i'm going to put the rod in eye around that sort of height because we can drill this boss out in the side and use that for the base and waste and then it's up into where the branch is going to go straight in there and then obviously we've got to pick up the bath and the basin and what we're going to do is use strap on bosses into the side of the saw stack when it goes up and then it'll go up 45 over the soffit and then to a bird cage at the top so it's just going to neaten up here and I'll have a lot more look at this even the sun's trying to break out thank god so as i said we'll start by getting this on 
we'll tighten it in and what I'll do is I'll sit the pipe flush on the top of here and then put the collar roughly around there I don't think there's any way of top to bottom we'll do it that way anyway uh, yeah, to do it that way just to keep the writing upwards little tip for you when cutting soil pipe I always use just a multi-tool mark all the way round I just spin it Then, tried and tested, rasp on the end of it. I've had this years. You know that one tool that if it went missing, you'd be gutted? I think my rasp is it. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure why I just rasped that. I got carried away, because that is just gonna sit straight in there like so. And then, the rod and I, in the top like that and then we can work off and go from there that's the bottom part in now with the rodding eye on and i've just measured and cut this bit with the branch on the top and it works a treat put that in there like so and then it's as simple as that and it's as simple as that i always there's usually re yellow writing on these always keep it to the back so it doesn't show on the front when this is all wiped down it'll be fine so yeah we'll tighten, we'll tighten that up at the bottom now and then level this up the branch as you can see poking into the wall perfectly there so we'll get some clips on here then we can work the top bit out get it across that soffit get some more clips on and that's and then get a pipe internally onto the toilet and then we can run off we can go inside drill out where the bath is where the basin is and come and put some strap boxes on the side there. Yeah, okay, pot masters on, just in time for this all part to be up. So that's up, poking through. Let's turn that off before we get a copyright. The old, is it Buggles? No, I think it's Buggles. Together in electric dream, together in electric, um, pot master now, together in electric dreams. Comment below, I can't remember. Ah, I've lost three points on pot master. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the stack in. Got this bit here, so we're going to take that up now, push that into position for the toilet, and then we're going to work out where the holes are being drilled through for the waste for the bath and the basin. Who was it? Together in electric dreams. We'll always be together. Ah. Right, I'm not going to uh, Google it. I'm just going to try and remember. It's not going to be long enough. That was just an off cut anyway. I'll cut a longer bit. That's the edge of the pan. I think the back of the pan is going to be about here. So we'll have to use another length up just to poke it in. But yeah, that'll be sort of sat like that and then in the back of the pan and then this will be boxed in. So that's the stack all in now. So we've took down that hopper head, we've took down that down pipe that was there, but I just wanted to free up this area to get the bath waste and the basin waste through. So I've drilled two pilot holes through. We're gonna drill from outside in with this one um, and then just get the holes through. And because I'm absolutely covered in red brick dust, we'll get this done. And I think it's gonna start raining again shortly. Keeps spitting at the minute. So we'll get this done and then we've got to swing over to Unilite to do some work over there. I think Alex has got me on this sponsorship under false pretenses because we've done that. And then he went, oh, could you pop over? Um, one day and just connect a hot water heater and all that for us so I've got to swing over there so I'll film a bit of that as well but we'll get these drilled out now and then before the rain comes and then we're ready to just come off there and we can connect into the stack so that's the basin waste drilled out we're just halfway through filling the bath uh, drilling the bath waste out but I am just again can't even see my tattoos I'm covered in that much red brick dust I don't know if you can see it. Looks like I've got some sort of fake tan on. I'm gonna get these through and then I'm just going home to get showered because I'm absolutely mean. But I wanted to get the holes drilled through so I'm not coming back tomorrow and having to start again and getting covered in crap again. Plus, it has started raining again. So I've been parking on this job 
perfectly well in the little bay next to the customer's car. I've turned up today, the electrician's beat me here, but he just couldn't be asked to reverse in here and taking up the old bloody drive. You know what these sparkies are like. So today we're going to carry on. Now that all the holes are drilled out, just carry on getting these wastes through. So I've drilled the bosses into the stack, come across there for the inch and a half into the bath, and then we'll run below it into the basin. But I'm going to try and do it before the rain comes. Bloody weather. And put the inch and a quarter into the stack there. Look, there he is, the guy that can't park in a sensible place. <laughs> so we've altered the top of that stack now. So that's all in. We've got the basin waste, we've got the bath waste in. We'll mortar up round there and put some pipe snugs on before we finish because I've got to get my bookie mate here to chop some bricks out and try and patch that up as best we can because there's a fair few old holes and then patch up round the floor pot. We've also got this one to do before we finish this job but we won't worry about that now. I've swirled the floor down as well, I've tried to get rid of all the red brick dust. So yeah, we've uh, just got to go inside now alter the pipes under the floor for where the bath's going to be and where the basin's going to be and just get some clips on that four inch pipe and then we can get that ready get it boxed internally now we've got the waste in i always bring these inch and a quarter waste that sit in the pedestals up quite high um, and then we've got the bath waste there as we know the bath outline of the bath is around there the center's here so the trap's going to be here and then we can get onto that waste off the side and we've also got the four inch for the toilet which we're going to get boxed in tomorrow off of the toilet in place, box it in, and then it's all ready to be skimmed, boarded, skimmed, seeded, skimmed. The electrician's been today as well. So yeah, we're all, we're all ready to go now. Outside's done, I missed the rain, thankfully. All the drilling's done. We'll get this boxed in tomorrow. Right, so it's bank holiday Thursday, Jubilee Thursday, so most people are getting ready to go on the piss, whereas we are here with the chippy, just doing a little bit of boxing. Um, just to finish this bathroom ready for the plasterers because they're coming on Monday. So I'll just show you, we've literally just, so we've just swung in this morning for a couple of hours just to get this little bit of boxing done. Brick tops here. Back on the channel. Back on the channel. Just to get that over boxing in because we've got, as I said, Monday we've got the Scotty the plasterer coming to do the walls, ceiling and that. So. He'll be here for two days plastering, and then Nath, the tiler, Nath and Matty are coming to tile half height in here. So I wanted to get this boxing in, so they've got a clean run at everything. And then where the pan's gonna go there, he'll tile round that and keep it all nice and sweet. So yeah, little bank holiday Thursday job. Sometimes you've got to, it's not, not a case of having a day off. It's a case of getting everything ready so you're not holding up the other trade so it's just nice and smooth for them to get in and do their bit there's nothing worse than you know just for the sake of a couple of hours doing that saves a lot of ass on monday you know otherwise you'd have been here doing that first thing monday and then the plaster is it's the knock-on effect so that's done once that's done I'm gonna have a weekend away i've got liam gallagher at nebworth on friday so yeah I'll be having a few then so have a good jubilee weekend and we'll get back onto this next week.